if the Democratic Party loses the House by more than four votes, I tell you, there are going to be some pretty upset uh, Democrats like uh, Mondair Jones, who uh, got shifted into another district because the, the head of the DCCC decided that he wanted to run in a new district, which he uh, district which he ultimately lost. Check out how the characterization as said by uh, Mondair, and then we'll take it on the other side. Twenty uncalled races right now, and uh, if Democrats can get fourteen of those, they keep the House. Yeah. On that note, uh, you are a Democrat from New York, and you lost a primary. The map was um, a little bit messed up. I think that's probably a, an understatement. <laughs> you tweeted the word yikes after the man who ousted you from your seat, the uh, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, who happens to be the DCCC chair, lost his race. Did your, Demo home, state, did your home state Democrats kind of screw this up for the National Party? Redistricting in New York was an incompetent disaster. Uh, and it started, by the way, like many of the recent horrible things in New York, with a guy by the name of Andrew Cuomo. Who, Preach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, a lot of folks don't know that the reason we lost a congressional seat in New York State is because 89 more people did not complete the census. The governor at the time could have dispersed funds that the legislature had allocated for purposes of census completion. So this is Andrew Cuomo's fault? And then, it's because it's also the fault of federal and state legislators in New York. And then the legislature, which could have made the Independent Redistricting Commission's consensus building more efficient, did not put money behind its own ballot referendum that would have accomplished that, because they always intended to overrule the Independent Redistricting Commission with their supermajority vote. And as a result, uh, you've had the chair of the DCCC, uh, in coordination with Democratic leaders in Albany, uh, pushed through an aggressive gerrymander that the Court of Appeals struck down as blatantly illegal. Uh, and as a result, you have the nightmare scenario where yeah. uh, you, you have the, the House majority now uh, being deprived of Democrats potentially because of New York, a deeply blue state where we could have gotten it right in the way that so many other blue states did. Let me tell you, sometimes you have to wonder the common sense of those who are in power in, in, in the party. But again, the most important part about it is at least our people came out more so than not to vote to prevent the loss of this democracy, to prevent the loss of fascism being instituted almost officially in this country. So yeah, we have a few bad spots, but ultimately we should still be happy. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.